close war. Let me explain how close this war was. I'm going to give you my perspective. So it's like 4 o'clock Sunday morning. I have two raids left. And uh, we're up 91 to 80. Uh, there's seven raids in total. So we have seven raids left to their 20. With 91 to 80, they have like 20 raids left. They have like unhit nines to hit and all that good stuff. But, you know, as long as we do what our, we're supposed to do, we should still win. Because... I mean, you, you know, if they threed every base, then obviously we, we were doomed because we, there weren't enough attacks left for the amount of bases left. And uh, I failed my raid. Boom. Failed my raid. Uh, it was like a, I don't know if it was a glitch. Uh, I don't really want to show it because I don't want to look at it no more. I watched it like 20 times. But for some reason, like it looked like a boom. I had like, it was an air raid. I had like all the moons. It was like 12 moons coming down. It was like an arch tower, two V blowers. Uh, Another Archer Tower and a Tesla. That was all that was left. You know, it was 12 moves. That was all. And uh, for some reason, there was one sweeper. I, I knew that sweeper was going to blow straight up. You know, I can understand that. But the moon should get there by then. The other sweeper somehow turns. It was pointed directly 8 o'clock and it turned all the way to like 12, pretty much. I don't know if it was 12, but it made a whole 90 degree turn and was it was double shooting my loons. And like, they could, it just never moved. And it was just, it pissed me off so much. So I felt that rate and I go to bed. I was just, I was out of bed. I was like, forget it. I don't worry about it no more. So I wake up four hours later. I still have another raid left. You know, I'm expecting us to just be demolished at this point. I get on. It's 91 to 90. Next left to their uh, seven, I think they had left. They had seven more attacks to go. Uh, one was a Town Hall 10 nuke. And you could tell he was going to nuke that Town Hall 9. And um, basically, we had to hit as good as possible. Uh, I will show you the war events to show you exactly what happened. But I don't want to show somebody's raid. Because it's kind of it could be potentially embarrassing. I don't want to embarrass somebody like that. But uh, basically, uh, you know, I get on, I was like, oh my god. So I raid, uh, I get three star, so that's 92 to 90, and uh, I leave. And then when I come back about an hour or two later, the war's over. And uh, the process was a town 10 nukes, uh, I think it's Tum Tum, and that's 92 92, and obviously, percentage. So we obviously have to, luckily, our. RJ was, you know, RJ the Terminator, baby, you know what I'm saying? Swag RJ was there, and uh, he cleaned it up, you know, 93, 92, crushed the hearts, two minutes. Man, it was a great clan that we was going against. Uh, it was actually, like, this was like the ugliest victory I've ever seen in my life, because they was raiding without a hero, and it still came this close. Like, I don't know what it is about our clan, like, we start out amazing. Like, I think we had 15 fresh hit, three stars just war. And uh, it's just we always hit a low period. I don't know if we try to like copy the, the attack for us for whatever reason. Uh, I mean, like, you know, because most of the raids are like 80%, 90%. You feel like you can tweak it just a little bit to make it better. And then it, I don't know, it just doesn't happen. Yeah, we really got to work on it, especially with the Invicta War coming up because, you know, Invicta's not going to raid with a hero down. And, you know, they do this all the time. So, they come with our A game. But, uh,. Shout out to my man Bolt because, like he said, two stars win wars. And what does that say? It says the team with the most two stars win. Hey, numbers don't lie, baby. Numbers don't lie. But yeah, shout out to RJ, MVP. That's the only one star in the entire war. So, uh, yeah, man, that's. It's just. It's, it's a great feeling that we won. Uh, we're definitely going to go in and look at all the game tape and uh, try to fix everything that happened. But, hey, a win is a win. You know what I'm saying? I think every clan can uh, vouch for that. So, we'll get into a raid. Look at a Town Hall 10. Wild easy. EQ on the Town Hall here. Hopefully, my recording. Like, I've tried to record this raid, uh, war a couple times. And uh, it just, it never worked. Like, it kept glitching on me. And it was annoying, like so annoying. You don't understand what it's like to see your laptop start glitching. I don't know if it's because it overheats on raids or if, like, my settings, I changed the settings back. I really need to get a new computer because it shouldn't do this. You know what I mean? Like, it should be fine to record. Like, I've been recording the same settings since forever. I don't know if it's because, like, the, the Elgato updated that it changed the whatever, you know, I put all my settings back, and, uh, it's just, it's just not working, I don't understand what's going on, and there's nothing I can really do about it at this point, you know, I'm trying, but it is what it is, uh, 
as you can see why it came in with the standard uh two star strat or five gold and five plus goldens and then uh you have the two cutie petals uh cutie, cutie peckers to come in to uh, help just get that town hall out and then obviously the queen sparks her ability to get the 50 star as Godson would say she gets the 50 star and that's what it is so great great my man you know that's what you need you need to if you need to save for aid you need to save for aid. it's just what it is man you all know how it goes in these clan wars you know eventually we'll get into the uh, three star potential type stuff you know get your, get your heroes up you know 40 40 and uh, we'll think about uh breaking bases with uh beasts um hell am I trying to say I don't know what I'm trying to say uh, moving on from the Town Hall 10s, we we'll look at a uh, nuke here, I think a laughing PK, and um, yeah, laughing PK is a nine and a half, so we'll watch his uh, glorious uh, nuke in here because he brought a goblin. No, I love the goblin. It's one of the best troops in the game, especially now that it targets Town Hall. Come on, son, that's just cheese. If, if a goblin had more hit, hit points, I'm pretty sure Town Hall 10, like all the pusher dudes, would hella be using goblins, yo. Like, there's no reason not to, right? Yeah, so no. So he breaks into two points here. And he's gonna drop a perfect jump spell. I won't say perfect, but you know, he got that junction there. And he's gonna drop a uh, jump spell right on the middle of it. And he opens up one, two, three compartments. Eventually, the hog riders are gonna come in. I assume he starts on the left side up there. But he might take out the right side just to preserve his queen a little bit. Yeah, he might take out the. But he actually is going clockwise with it. I apologize for my uh, mistake there on his uh, deployment. See, see how I didn't. I wasn't watching many of his races. I was just so sick, I would say. You know, at the beginning, you know, you're all hyped because your clan mates are just, you know, doing work. But then, like, we always. I don't know. We just hit that low period, and man, it's just. It hurts your soul to watch, you know, people are like, oh, don't worry, we're good. Like, uh, Ari said, you know, you're getting tired of people. Uh, stall. I don't know what it is. Uh, eventually, we'll, we'll figure it all out. We're getting in there now, you know, got to get into the lab, you know, work out all the kinks, you know, work out your shooting technique, you know, that's what they're doing basketball, so that's what we got to do here. And, um, Great new three star. You know, it was a no doubter right there, like a baseball hit. You know, you hit it off the pitch and you just know. You just walk it to the uh, home plate because you just knew that it was a great raid, my man. We'll look down at number 12. This was the winning raid right here by uh, my man RJ with two minutes left in the war. A Cajun AQ walk. Set up perfectly scout wise by. Uh, Matthias, Matthias did the same thing. It just at the end, uh, I think the skeletons got him, got his hog riders and uh, his queen. I don't know what happened. His queen got stuck on walls, I believe. And it happened to RJ. So his queen's gonna walk. She's obviously gonna stop because that just takes out that dark elixir drill. The next closest thing is gonna be that dark storage, and then she's gonna take out that air defense, and then she's gonna just walk in because. She doesn't want to walk by the way to that barrier on the left because she's a thug like that. So it's going to go drill, storage, air defense. And she's going to walk in like she do. Now you got the uh, kill squad coming up here on the top right to come get this queen. You got two golems, so they're going to walk in. BK comes in a little late. You got to let that golem take that uh, initial AQ fire as he does so well. I think he always does that well. Puts in a couple halls, take out that uh, Archer Tower here, and then they actually tank a little bit for that uh, or They take out that Blue Tower almost. Not quite all the way, but you know, almost got it. Queen getting harassed by Puff, sparks her ability to preserve her life, got that cannon wood on her ass. And now this Queen's gonna walk in, obviously. She goes, she's taking out the cannon now. There's BK on that, has a hog rider on that uh, hog. Damn it, I can't talk, man. 
as a hog rider on that uh more than at the bottom. But yeah, the skeleton man's right here, take out his hog, and then the rabbit's gonna go to the hogs up there. Didn't need the raise spell for his uh, queen, so use the raise spell on his hogs. That's the same thing that I do. I just like uh I mean I you could swag it, but then it's like I don't know. I just you don't I don't think about it in the moment. I just be like, hey, why not just let my whole riders go ham? Look at his queen. I don't know why his queen like she was shooting one and then turn around and shoot one. Like that was so weird. But uh yeah, that's this is the game winning raid right here. You know, you just watch the walk off raid. You know, shout out to all these sports references that I'm doing at the moment. But uh beautiful man, you know, just clutch clutch money right there. You gotta love it. You really gotta love it. You know, clan went just snap crazy. I'm pretty sure there was like eighty seven thousand hundred messages that flooded through the little screen. And uh <laughs> this was me, you know, this is me getting on base right here, you know what I'm saying? I wanna show my rate. I didn't record it live because I was in a rush. But uh, AQ walking it like a champ. Gonna clear this whole right side down here. <laughs> AQ should go on the tower and she's gonna take out the elixir collector and she should go down. She's gonna go barrack with tower. Expo. That's amazing that the expo was like five tower range, which you know makes me happy. Oh, she went ghost sword. See, I lied to you. I apologize. But here comes my kill squad. Yeah, she's gonna walk all the way down the right side. You know, perfectly fine because she won't get hit by more than two. So we got kill squad coming down here. Wall breaker in. Thankfully that there wasn't a, a trap wall breaker because for some reason that first wall breaker just just bullshit. BKN. I believe the lava pit comes out. And it's going to stay on my uh, own heroes. And then eventually, I think it goes to my uh, all riders. No, I think it goes to my queen eventually. I think my queen goes to the red. King takes out the queen. And then I think I start my hogs here in a little bit. Once I see a giant bomb, you know, right here. There we go. We put our hogs in. Couple more hogs just to get that tail down. Mad I didn't start that there first. There's the rest of the hogs. Kill spell on that first GB. And they're going in, they're going in, they're going in, they're going in, they're going in. Beautiful, beautiful. We hold it on this uh, heal spell here. Wait for them to get a little bit more into range so they get all of these pulses here. I don't know how I dropped that poison spell so perfectly to get all the skeleton. I'm, I'm boosting myself up right now, but I really don't know how I got that poison spell so perfect like that. I was waiting to use the other one, but I didn't need it. And I was excited. I was like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. And then I used my rage spell. I could have swagged it, but I just I felt like using it. Uh, I don't know. It's just like what I want to do. Poison spell on the king so he doesn't beat the fuck out of my queen. And uh, got the cleanup around. Minion. Minion up there. Hoggy still alive. Queen's eventually gonna take out this uh La Peep and uh Spark the ability so she doesn't die by the pups in that PK. And uh that's what it is, baby. Uh just I don't know, man, it was it was a close war, man. Thank god. Shout out to Silk Team Six, man. Moving on, we're looking at number seventeen, Dally Boy. Looks like a max attack. Or could just be easy to go her with a double poison. Ooh. Minion. Gotta love those uncontested phones. Wish you would have did the minions first and then did his EQs. You know, you gotta save a little bit of time. But it is what it is. Wizard funnel. Wish you didn't remove that minion, but for the others. Wall breakers in. Heroes in. Seven thousand. Man, that's a lot of thousands, y'all. And there's a lot of pig. No spell down. Poison spell down.
up eight pops. Queen wizards taken out with pups. Thank you, Sparks your ability. I love how the valves went through the entire day. It's like, yeah, I leave. What? That was incredible. I was coming in on his right side. Putting in that work. The EDGB right there. Eat that second GB because he could trip it. The way he came in, you know, he tripped it uh, by itself. There's a next golem still out there tanking. Like the champ, it is. Plenty of hogs over here on his left side. Look at that one cleanup archer. <laughs> that's so cute. She's so cute. And uh, that's a three star, baby. There you go. Got a nice split with the hog. Got one hog up there, and then the other ones are going to obviously wrap around the whole base while that one hog up there takes out that stuff. Thank God he went that way. That would have been a long triple bag. Obviously. Boom! Just imagine, you know, another 20 seconds to get all the way over there. That would have sucked. But I think it was like 310 on that rate. So thank God that it split like that. Look at that number 19. Thunder Strike. I love Thunder Strike. I believe this was a fresh hit. Uh, three star. One of the first raids of the war. Golden Walk. I love Golden Walks, man. Healer just keeps the keeps the golem alive a little longer than it would be alive. And uh, as you take out more defenses, the uh, healer, so I think it does what seventy something per hit. So let's see if the queen's gonna take out this archer tower. So now it's just the cannon and the expo. So it should get a little health and it actually took out that expo. This queen did exactly what the crap. That is ridiculous. I want my queen to do that. Look at that. She winched. What? Oh my god. So now we got the golem. He's about to tank up. I want to say tank up, but the golem's about to get his whole entire health back, pretty much. Which is just phenomenal. You know, you gotta love that. Warbreaker's in. Falk's in. King in. The gorgeous family on the left. Sad that that golem is still walking outside, but it is what it is. Double giant, or is that a double giant bomb? I can't tell. I assume it's going to be a double giant bomb that they'll take out. About to come in and get the queen. She's down. We didn't run that lava pig, but you know, fresh hit. You don't know there's a lava pig in there, so you couldn't uh, plan for it. And here comes the hoggy dogs. There's another GB. Sadly, the Queen sparked his ability as the giant bomb went off, so most of these barbs died with him. I don't know if they, like, died immediately. Pretty sure they died immediately. But a beautiful, little surgical esque style deployment here. This Queen dies. Got the Queen, uh, got two wizards for cleanup. Just swag wall breakers. I don't believe he swagged it because he wants to make sure that he, uh, gets through that, uh, wiz tower. Or maybe he did swag it. Man, I swear, we're gonna, we're gonna stop calling him Thunder Swag. Because my man swags at every war. Somebody cue that music, baby. Or not. Wait for it. Wait for it. Four second clutch ray right here. Started at 326. It's an AQ walk over hope. So this is the queen up here. This queen is so baby, man. It's so funny seeing a baby queen do a, a AQ walk. Uh, you got a sparker ability. But uh, I tell y'all about how Thunderstrike used to do uh, AQ walks with like a level 10 queen. It was it was so comical to watch yo. It was like it made no sense. Like it should never it should have never worked. But for some reason it did. And you didn't even believe it in like the baby AQs. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to you, Thunder. You're one of my favorite peoples. So his queen walks in instead of walking to that elixir collector over there, which is uh, fun. Mm -hmm. 
jump spell, don't even worry about how do I uh, I guess the queen is gonna hop up that apartment. Here comes some bouts. We have five all together. Rage spell. Could have moved it up a little more. You missed like about two thirds of it. What the? You put all these all down here. Oh, this one was up there at the top. Let's see in there. Use spell for the hog at the bottom. Those top hogs take out that uh, double giant bomb. The queen obviously hit the other one. Has a haste spell to speed through stuff. Hoggy dogs take out the X bow. Poison on the king. Uh, turn on the clan castle instead of the king, which always sucks. I hate when that happens. They hit like a high hit point building and don't take out the king. Luckily, the uh, hogs get out of the range of the lava pig, so the queen should stop trying to target it eventually. Wait for it. She's probably going to break through and she'll hit the lava pig. Will she break it? I can't tell what the health is. Nah, she won't break it. Oh, yeah, she will because the hogs went up instead of down. Hogs die. Luckily, you got your queen. Got the wizards cleaning up, and it was a close three, but three nonetheless. The game. So we ready? It's glitching. That's gonna seriously bum me out, man. I've seen this base before. Which level when you see a base that you've already hit before? That's a uh, always a good feeling. How does Golem turn like that? See that? How does Golem was hitting that mortar? Like instead of walking to the mortar, like walk. I don't know. Like, oh, why he sparking the ability? That was a panic spark. Great jump spell. DK actually lures the uh, Vout barking outside. I love how his uh, kill squad hasn't made it to the queen yet, but they eventually will. Maybe, maybe not. Kill squad comes and takes out that uh, giant bomb up there, and now the queen aggroes them. And obviously, they're about to take it down, as they do so well. And now, here come the hogs. Or not? Guess he, guess he didn't want to drop his hog ladders. There you go. I guess he was waiting for that double giant bomb to go off. You should start from like the top, maybe. You know, cause it would have been nice to have the kill squad still up at the end of the raid, kind of tanking a little bit. But hey, still got the three, so I ain't gonna complain about it. Yet. Nice target the hogs out there. Got the hogs in the hill in the middle, so we're gonna take those. You get the last lava puff in. So that was cute. But you know, one lava you know, against these eight hogs, so great raid modem. Modem free balls. M D F B. Uh we'll look at another raid with thirty two. I think that's it. This is the noob, so cage. Yeah, man. We got the win. That rush. Can I see the mouth? And um, yeah, man, it's just thank you, Soup Cell, for setting us up with the two. Yeah, man. 
what do you say? Um, yeah. With that swag music play at the outro here. And uh, see what the plan mates want to say. You know, I hope you enjoyed the videos that I'm putting out. Like I said, uh, stuff happened on my YouTube channel. That's the reason why I'm coming up. But uh, now I'm back, and hopefully I can bring you the daily video. This has been my other video. But, you know, I'm going to say it here again. Uh, I hope that uh, I can bring you the, you know, the everyday video. Because I think that's that's what's nice. You know, if you get a YouTube channel, you want to keep it, keep it rolling. Know, keep keep the content pumping out, and uh, you know, one day you know maybe I'll uh, get you know a couple subscribers be able to help a couple clans, like how Jake has helped. You know, when Jake first started, he was just like me, and uh, it's amazing to see what his clan became, you know, from the start to finish. When you watch the first video that they made, and you see them now, you know that's it's amazing. You know, I'm kind of seeing my clan do that now, and it's uh. It's beautiful to see, man. It's really beautiful. Um, can't ask for any more. And uh, I love this clan. I love you, YouTube. Uh, thanks for rocking with me. I have a couple more series coming soon. Uh, I don't know when they'll come out, but eventually they'll be out, and I can't wait to bring that for y'all. So uh, that's all I got for you, YouTube. Uh, once again, I love you all. Hope you stay sexy, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.